Hey everybody, I know it's been a while since I've posted anything, I wanted to give you an update video, let you know what I've been doing and why I haven't posted. So this is Mine Colonies, which is a mod pack or mod or whatever that has NPCs. You can see they're all going to their homes because it's turning night right now. So I figured I'd give you a little walk through this real quick. I've been playing the crap out of it. Uh, so yeah, we'll check this out. And I'll talk a little bit about Terraform Craft and what's going on there and all that. So currently we're in the town hall building. <clears throat> it is nighttime, so maybe I'll sleep. That way everybody can get a good view of what's going on. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome mod here. Hey, is everybody asleep? What's going on? Everybody go to bed. Everybody asleep? Not everybody. We're waiting on someone. There we go. All colonists are tucked into bed. So now we can sleep. Then I'll give you a walkthrough. So this building that we were in is the town hall. It's still levels level one, I think. You can get information here about your colony. I mean, I don't really want to do a full mod breakdown or whatever because you can watch other stuff on YouTube if you want to know how the mod works. It would take way too long for me to explain it and there's probably people with better tutorials and stuff online anyway. But I'll give you a quick tour. So over here, this is the uh, Enchanter's Tower. I just built that part of like a uh, research quest line or something. Over here we got some residences where people live. The shepherd. What is this guy? Oh, that's the teacher. So yeah, we got some residences here. I also have the simple storage mod so that I can like get all my stuff in one place. I can show you where I keep that stuff real quick. You have to like make pipes and do all that, but once you get the stuff, it's actually really great. And it's kind of like an essential for this mod if you're going to play it seriously. So down here, we've got all these chests here. The controller box and all that. And then behind here, there's a bunch of pipes and all that crap. So everything in here is in these chests. Okay. So we can do that. We got some a lava set up over there. Just general crap. <clears throat> we can go down through here. Uh, yeah, so we got some more residences. More houses. That's still level one. A lot of these are still level one. This is a level two residence? Yeah. Two people live here. It's pretty cool looking. Uh, over here there's a fishing hut. This guy is fishing. So that's a fishing hut there. There's some guard towers. That's what each of these buildings are. These are essential to protect your colony from invaders. Yes. That lady that just ran by is a courier. She delivers stuff around to people who need it. So we can go back into town here. This is the tavern. This is where you get new people if you want to recruit some new people. Uh, what can I do for they you? They want certain things and then their stats and everything. And yes, sir. They can be a part of your town if you want them to. And then for that if also, so. their hunger, once it runs out, they despawn and another one spawns. What's it today, you can man? keep them around by right-clicking them with uh, cooked meat or whatever. Okay, over here we've got a builder's hut. I think this is level four. Maybe? Level 3? Level 4? Level 3. And they're actually leveling it right now. That's what this uh, construction tape looking crap is. Is that if it's in upgrade mode, then it'll have that tape. This is a carpenter. Very, very minimal build, but pretty much essential once you get going. This is a level 4 builder set. Like this one's actually level 4, actually. And you can only build up 
upgrade other buildings to the level of whatever your building hut, builder's hut is currently. Somebody's working on something over there. And then this is a courier's hut. That's a courier's hut. You have to have those to have the courier. That's one of the builders right there. Hey, what are you going to get, bro? So he's got all kind of crap. Go on in there. This is a hospital. The colonists will get sick over time, and you need a hospital to give them healing or whatever. Over here, we got a restaurant. Colonists will come in here to eat food. You want to make sure they've got some food in here. They, they'll cook food as well if you give them food. And you can set like what fuel they use and all that crap. So yeah, that's something. What is this? She's getting carrots. That's the farm. Each one of these scarecrow looking thing is a farm. So that's pretty cool. We've got more guard towers along the back. We've got a cow hand hut where they will get meat and leather. There's a regular Minecraft village over there where I have a little iron farm. And there's a portal over there you can't really see where I've been going to the nether. This is a sheep herder's hut or whatever. Where he gets wool and mutton and stuff like that. Okay, what else we got? We got the forester's hut. This is a level three. She'll chop down trees and get wood for you. That's where she's going to chop down some more trees. And she'll replant and everything. Which is pretty great. I want to automate everything. And then this is the plantation. Level one. Where you can grow sugarcane, cactus, or... Hey, what does she need? You need something? Gotta walk a long way. No, she doesn't need anything. Sugarcane, cactus, or bamboo. Okay, we'll keep going. See, she's bringing something to somebody right now. One wheat. This is what is this? Composters hut. There's nobody that works here right now because. I unemployed them because they made too much compost. We got tons. We don't really need that. That was also for a research thing. We got the flower flower shop, which this lady makes flowers, and she is the daughter of the um, the builder guy and the other lady. So that's pretty cool. You can have kids and all that. All right, this big building here is the warehouse. This is where all the items get stored from other buildings and all that. There's just all kind of junk in here. She collects everything from everybody and brings it here. And you can put things here for the builder and then she'll deliver it as needed. And I think this is a level three warehouse. And that's why I'm updating the other builder's hut. I want to get this to level 4 as soon as possible for space. We've got the university over there we can look at. This is also being upgraded. This is the smeltery. So that's cool. That will smelt ores into ingots and all that. And then this is a stone smeltery. This makes like all kind of different stuff. You can teach them crafting recipes. And then when the builder needs it, they can take the raw materials and the courier will bring it and then they can craft it or whatever into what they need. So that's pretty epic. This is the blacksmith. Same thing here. You can teach crafting recipes. Armor for the guards, stuff like that. That's level three. And then over here is the mechanics hut, which took a bit of research to get to, but they basically make all the 
like redstone type stuff and other items, blocks and weird stuff. So you need that. And then we got the university here. This is where you do research to upgrade your colony to unlock buildings and technology and crap like that. So like right now I'm trying to get a couple things. I want to open the nether for the nether mine. And I also want to get uh, these two. That's why I'm doing the smeltery. And it says you need to have a smeltery totaling three levels for both of those. And that will unlock the glass blower's hut and the stone smeltery. So I'm doing that. And I think, is that it? I think that's it. Oh, there's a couple more things up here. <clears throat> Over here, yeah. So this one is the mine? No, this is the Fletcher. So they can make bows, arrows, leather stuff, fishing rods, wool into string, all that crap. Oh, this is glowing, so you'll be able to see a raid tonight, actually. Didn't plan on that. So this is the mine. Is it actually going to happen soon? Yeah. So this is the mine. This person will... Oh, and they're sick. Are you sick? What can I do for you? Not you, not you. Uh, I want to know what you have. What can I do for you? Influenza, carrot and potato. So she'll go to the hospital. It looks like there's a little bit of an outbreak, actually. Other people have that. So this is the mine. This is where they dig stuff. That goes extremely deep. I would show you that right now, but I have to get ready for this raid or whatever. These are pretty simple. Typically, you don't lose anybody. You got this rallying banner. If you click on your guard tower, it will uh, like link it, and then you can right-click it on the ground, and then they'll come running whenever you summon them. And you want to do that whenever there's going to be a raid. That way, they can help you defend the colony. Come on, guys. Let's do this damn thing. I hope it comes from that way. Is it? Oh, it stopped glowing now. Maybe it's not going to be tonight. Well, we're, we're ready anyway. Know what I mean? Maybe they chickened out. They saw my army. And they were like, yeah, nah. I think we'll just go home. Okay, so let's dismiss them then. <clears throat> You're dismissed. Go back to your normal duty. Stop glowing. Stop glowing. So we'll go sleep again. Right quick. That's weird. I've never had the uh, the thing stop glowing. The uh, uh, ancient tome. That thing lights up when it tells you there's going to be a raid, so I don't know why it didn't actually happen, but whatever. So yeah, the mine, we can go back down there since we got a little time now. Basically, the way that this works is you can, it'll dig these levels, and then once it gets, depending on the mine level, it'll go down a certain amount, and then you can tell it to mine these nodes on each level, which is basically just like mine shafts. So if we come down here, it goes extremely far down. And if we look at this one, it, they even make signs that tell you like how many nodes there are and all that. And they like dig all this out and then get the resources and give it to the courier to send it to the warehouse for building needs and stuff like that. And yeah, there's like death falls and stuff like that, which that does not look safe. Probably need to close that up so we'll close this up hey up oh. up oh. good and put an extra torch there or whatever so yeah the mine's awesome uh it can be a little bit of a maze though like how the hell do i get out of here now this is the middle no hey how do i get out i'm stuck in here uh, I'm freaking out. Wait. It would be...
Dang, there's like places to fall and stuff. It would be this way. This is the middle. Okay. Let's get out of here. I've already had one miner die in there. And a builder die, my favorite builder. But yeah, you can see in here they can use diamond pickaxes and all that. Once they get to a certain level. So we'll get out of there. And that is all, except for the barracks. So we'll go check the barracks out. That's basically like a military installation. Similar to the guard towers, but better in like every way. So this is the barracks here. Basically, it's got <clears throat> similar kind of guard tower type things. Barracks tower, you can put, I think, four or, I don't know, two per each one. But two guards can live in each one of these, so this is the same as four guard towers. And as you level it up, more guards can live there or whatever. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, pretty awesome. Uh, I like the mod a lot. I've been playing the crap out of it, but progression slows down a lot once you get uh, up to higher levels. You have to like get a bunch of crap. Like for example, I just had to raid a um, uh, what are they called? Ocean Monument to get like Prismarine and stuff like that that they wanted. So we'll come over here to this regular Minecraft village. <clears throat> <clears throat> which you'll notice there's no villagers around because I enslaved them yes got this really crappy iron farm here it does make iron but I don't need a lot so I don't need some awesome you know amazing sky floating iron farm I got some nether wart here down here We've got like a couple beds. I go mining down there if I want. Uh, in here, got like a little villager trading hall thing. Basically, villagers come in there from my uh, auto breeder thingy. You can s send them in here. This zombie will get them sick. And then over here, you can. Uh, I got set up with all the different books and stuff like that that you can get. That's how I got all this OP gear. See? Awesome. And then on this side, you can also trade with these guys. You know, they're all master level. If I wanted more diamond armor, I could re... Uh, re-cure them or whatever. But yeah, we got all the different books, stuff like that. And I think, like, even from over here, I can still access that because those chunks are loaded. I don't think that's supposed to be that way, but it might be an unintended bug. <clears throat> oh, let me grab some gold. Gold? I have a lot. I have a lot of gold. Get a little of this. See, you just craft golden apples like here. I can show you real quick, even though everybody probably knows this technique because it's like a staple of Minecraft. Like, if you don't know how to do this, then you don't know how to play Minecraft nowadays. Uh, I don't have any iron. Is that right? Luckily. Got a, a million iron here. Oh, I had some in here. Yeah, I got some nether right here. I could actually enhance my gear right now if I want. Do this on camera. stuff like that all right anyway so basically the way this works it's really kind of trashy but in minecraft you don't really need uh, awesome stuff you just need it to work right so like if I stand right here he will start to kill him it takes three hits and then he becomes a uh, zombified whatever zombie villager 
And then you hit the button again, and he goes off and goes over here. Hit him with that, hit him with that. He'll eventually turn into a back into a villager, and you can trade with him and get discounts and all that. That's why, like, if we look at Sharp 5, it's one, it's one emerald for a Sharp 5 book because I've cured him a couple times. <clears throat> Got this guy, get Ender Pearls, yada yada. So, yeah, I've been playing a lot of Mine Colonies, been doing this a lot. Wanted to give you an update of what I've been playing, what I've been doing. Haven't recorded a whole lot. Terra Firma Craft, uh, I haven't played any on, uh, my single player. I have been playing on the official server just to kind of keep in tune with it. There's no Firma Life on there, but I've been playing a little bit on there, which is fun. <clears throat> Built a massive wall, so I might show you that later. Um, I'm thinking about starting over on the single player because there's been some pretty major changes to the mod, and uh, also Fermalife got like a couple huge changes too. So. so this is the auto breeder thingy. I pulled the beds out. There used to be beds all right here, but they started making so many villagers that I had to stop them. Basically, they'll just reproduce, and then the baby falls down there and then goes down to that containment area. And then we can poison them and cure them at as needed. Got a little farm area here. So yeah, that's about all there is to it. Um, I do have a nether setup, but it's not anything fancy. It's just like a small blaze grinder, a place to get netherite. And that's about it. Nothing much to that. The colony looks cool from over here. Is this thing glowing? No. Well, that's too bad. I kind of wanted the raid to happen, but it's all good. This might not seem like a lot, but this did take a long time to do. Um, oh, and then I, one thing I didn't mention is you got these clipboard, which if the people need anything it, that they can't make, it'll be here. <clears throat> so like red ex red brick extra shingles, light gray wool. We can look in here and see if we have any light gray wool. We don't. We've got some light gray dye. And wool. And it said one to two. Do that number. It's probably this guy that needs it. Then basically what I do is just go put it in the warehouse and then they'll go bring it. Light gray wool. So, I mean, it, it's pretty fun if you want to just blow off steam and kind of like, hey man, let me check out the village and do that. And yeah, once you put it in there, it disappears from here. And those correspond with these builder scrolls which tell you what they're building, what they need, and what they have and all that. It was probably one of these guys that needed the uh, the stuff that I just gave them. Red brick extra shingles. That would take red brick extra, which I don't think I have any. Is that red brick? Brown brick extra? See, like a lot of this stuff, I don't even know. I don't even remember how to make. But it's all pretty simple. It just takes a lot of like crap. Like that's red brick extra. And then you need the architect's cutter, which is this thing. And it's supported by oak planks. And you can teach all this to the, uh, the people. That way you don't have to constantly make it. So like then we place that, something like this, and it's right here. How much do they need? I don't even know. I'm going to go with 12. Oh, only one to two. And now it's clear again. So see, that's how you do that. 
Not much to it, but the list can get pretty long and pretty annoying. Let me put all this stuff back. Up. Oh. Up. Oh. There we go. Oh, now it's glowing. Now it's glowing. I don't understand why is it not happening. That's for tomorrow night or something? Oh, she chopped these trees. What the hell? Lady, you're not supposed to chop these. Oh. Oh, well. I thought I had her set to uh, don't chop, but what's around there? But I guess not. She's chopping everything. So, yeah, I mean, what the heck? Let's see. How long has this video been going? 25 minutes? That's pretty good. Could quickly log on to the TerraformaCraft public server. I don't know if you guys want to wait through, like, watching me load the game. Like, what am I going to do? Talk about stuff? I guess we can do it. Let's do it. See how quick I can be. Saving world. So yeah, the our regular single player Terraform Craft, I don't know, I might restart that. You know, I don't really know what else we can do other than the rail stuff. I mean, I could experiment with... Actually, I take that back. I might experiment with some of the Fermilife updates because you do need the stainless steel and all that crap. The only thing is that they changed... Um, is this right? Yeah. They changed the, uh, see, black screen. How long can I keep you watching with a black screen? That's the question. It's loading. I swear it's loading. I swear. I'm loading up to look at the Minecraft TFC public server, which I got griefed and lost my blast furnace, but we can look at it real quick. So I'll probably make one more episode like a wrap-up episode on the TerraFormacraft single player just to go over some of the Fermilife updates. Um, and maybe a couple more after that, but... Because also, like, animals got old. They added something where your animals get old. So as soon as I log on, all my animals are going to be old. To where I'm going to have to re-get all the animals. It's going to be really annoying. All my cows are going to be old. They won't be able to make babies or anything like that, so probably going to be quite frustrating it's almost ready i swear oh wait you can see the thing you can see it you can see it uh hurry up come on do it i have faith in you It probably doesn't like bouncing from mod pack to mod pack. Uh, the other, the mine colonies is kind of like a homemade mod pack where I took mine colonies light and then added some stuff, took away some stuff, updated some mods. So I don't know if I can share that without getting sued. Okay, here we go. So we're ready. There's somebody on. So we'll jump on to the Minecraft TFC public server. Hosted by the developers. Who's on? Captain Skykiller. So yeah, this is my base on the public server. As you can see here, welcome to Atlantis House. In here I've got some general storage, stuff like that. Not going to go in depth about it, but... You know, there's some stuff in here. Haven't really went hard on advancing or anything. I built this gigantic wall around the whole thing. There's a village over there, but I got tired of looking at it. Because it's all, like, raided and stuff. So yeah, in here I got a blast furnace. I did make some steel armor. I traded for these tools and the bucket. Just went mining, got a bunch of iron lately, got some pre preserved food up here. Nothing nothing much to see, but yeah, I've been playing on here, got some seeds in here. 
charcoal thing. FYI, iron doors and iron trap doors are flammable. So I filled this whole thing with logs and then I had an iron trap door up there and an iron door here like I did in classic and it, I lost everything. It burnt it all down, which was pretty sad. I got this huge oak tree farm over here where I just make oak trees. Got some, oh, my crops are ready. Got some general farms over here. So I've been playing on here because I didn't want to like play on the single player in advance without recording it. But I also wanted to play a little bit and I like interacting with other people so been playing on here a little bit. Huh. Oops. I can do this. Might as well replant it while I'm here. But yeah, that wall that I built, it took so much materials. Like, crazy amount of rocks and all that. It might not look like it, but it did. Okay, good. Whatever. Over here, we got a few more oak trees. I got this amazing uh, mule set up. All these are fully tamed, ready to ride. They've all got a lead and a fence that way, you know, hey. If I get a visitor and they want to take a mule for a spin, they can. Back here, I got some chickens and ducks. This is where I make the mules. I got some horses and donkeys. Got my goat set up here. And see what I mean? Like, that's an old goat. It's so sad. These are all old goats. They had babies and then got old. So yeah, and then over here, this is where I keep my milk. Got some milk over here. I did make a, before I built a wall, I did this other project here where I like mined all the way to bedrock using support beams. Is there a mob here? Hello? No? Also, I like kind of wanted lava. Well, particles are freaking me out, man. I don't think there's any mobs. I mob proofed the floor so they can't spawn in here. I hope. And then if you go like this way, it's like a lava pool where I can get lava. See? Epic lava cave. So yeah, thanks for joining me on this update video. Uh, wanted to give you a quick update of what I've been playing and why I haven't posted in a while. I will post a couple more videos, at least a couple more, on Terraforma Craft soon. But yeah, thanks guys. See you later.